Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong, 2014 Interbike, and we're at Garmin right now. We decided to stop over here, talk to David a little bit, and find out a little bit more about the Verb, about the vector pedals, and what they've done to those. So, we haven't used this product yet to show you the video and the quality of what they're doing, but I understand it's pretty amazing. So, we wanted to walk through that, find the differences in the models that they have, and what they're doing with their pedals. So, tell us a little bit about what Garmin's doing, and all the cool stuff for cyclists. Cool. Um, we've come out with the Verb camera last year. And uh, we're showing it again here to kind of reiterate uh, what we're doing different than some of our competitors. And, uh, you know, we do have a display. We have a really long battery life, three hour, uh, over three hour battery life. Uh, what's different about uh, the Verb is we have a big switch, allows you to easily turn it on. Uh, it also has a GPS internal, the Verb Elite. The Verb Elite, uh, you'll see. Uh, you know, using the GPS, we'll see location when you download the video. You'll see uh, where you're riding. Uh, it has accelerometers to uh, tell the, the camera to turn on, for example, and in skiing when you're riding down a hill or or uh, versus going up a hill, it, it will turn off. And, Makes it super user um, friendly. Yep. So uh, it's uh, it's integrating all the data that we're providing in a regular edge computer, mm -hmm. but we're we're seeing all the sensors as well, so speed, cadence, and power. And then when you're looking at the video, uh, you can embed that uh, into the video and overlay the, the data. So not only while you're riding and, and seeing re reviewing your ride, you see that on the screen. You see what power you're producing in a crit and things like that. So it's really cool. Yeah, very cool. Um, so on some of these big rides like Leadville and things like that, I think this will really be the, the next thing of showing some cool video like we do on these videos, but also how the ride went, how the you know how you felt, and where your power and stuff like that right, was at. Right. So um, in uh, in the power meter market, uh, we've had uh, Vector for over a year now, and uh, it's done phenomenally well. Uh, we've updated uh, the pow uh, the pedals and improved them along the way to to be more robust as far as uh, some some of the early early uh, issues that we've saw with installation errors, so we try to eliminate that, but right. it's really made them a, a phenomenal product for a lot of cyclists to give you left and right power, easily installed, easily transferable from bike to bike, and then you can, um, you know, see your data that you're, you never got to see before, which is left and right power. Yeah. So uh, I think a lot of companies out there are now looking to see how they, hey, match that and the data that we're giving. We've come out with a, a power meter called the Vector S, which is our single-sided power meter that is uh, allowing you to uh, buy a Vector at a lower cost. It's $8.99 retail. The uh, Vector S is a single-sided pod and uh, sensor, so you, you only have one power meter in the left leg. Down the road, if you want to update that to go to the dual-sided, like the the, the full system, you can buy an upgrade kit. Oh, cool. You get a right pedal, right pod, and you're back up in action with uh, just like the dual system. Very cool. In the Edge 1000, uh, we, uh, we've added uh, some new, what we call cycling dynamics. And so you're seeing, uh, in, the, in the past on, on, a, on Vector, you would see left and right balance of power. You'd see watts. But now you're seeing on the screen uh, power phase, what we call PP. Uh, you're seeing when you start producing the power, when you stop. But uh, there's a there's a brighter, thicker, a little thicker wedge there that really shows you when when you're creating the meat of your power, the most of your power. Um, so breaking it apart by left and leg, we're not going to tell people what that really means, or we'll allow coaches to decide, you know, what that means, that. how to use that data. We're just describing what's happening. We'll let the coaches prescribe what the user should be doing. Um, in the middle here, excuse me, you'll see PCO, Platform Center Offset. It's a new uh, data, it's a new bit of data that shows uh, where the power is being applied on the pedal, inside or outside, and why that? Why is that important? Uh, we don't know. We'll 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 let coaches decide. But maybe that when the user's right leg shorter than the left, maybe he needs a shim. Maybe uh, they uh, they're broken their leg and they but need you have some a hot spot in a shoe. Obviously, Correct. and if you have a hot shot, in the, hot spot in that shoe, you guys obviously, if you can adjust that quickly, your fits become better. So for a fitter, this is an ideal right. scenario because when you're fitting the bike, they can look at this computer and see everything is even, direct pressure. So it's a really, really cool tool. So uh, what Vector does is it really is a force meter, not a, 
torque meter, and everybody else out there that we see is using strain gauges. We're using strain gauges as well, but we're using a, a direct force, so we can we can actually uh, see where forces are being applied, um, and, and uh, now we can show it. That's awesome. And then we see standing and seated time. So how long you've been, you know, during your ride, how long you've been seated, how long you've been standing. You know, down the road, uh, you'll be able to look at and say, hey, I was climbing for X amount, this percent grade, maybe I can look at, okay, I'm more efficient at climbing at 5% grade seated, but once I get to 12%, that's oh, wow. when I, it's more efficient standing. Very so cool. we'll let people figure that out, but yeah. again, it's it's just another You're data providing point. some cool data for them to be able to do correct, that with. Correct, correct. Awesome. So, and you know, of course, uh, with the 1000, you know, you got big screen, nice and clear. Yeah. We have the new cycling maps that we, yeah. we launched last year, and then yeah. that's updatable, and, and people are loving it. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, I was super jealous. A couple of the other bloggers got this and was able to test it, and I haven't been able to play with it yet. But super, super cool product. I love that Garmin's always so innovative. Right now, I'm actually, you all know that I ride the SRM power meter, but I'm using this head unit just because it gives me so much more data to be able to pull out for my coach. So. Uh, you know, their head units have always been top shelf and uh, just give you the kind of stuff that we all need. So su super grateful for that. Also, you know, video wise, I love the fact to be able to overlay that video with some of the rides and the different things that way because, you know, you're always curious, you know, here's some cool, beautiful footage, but as a cyclist, it all comes back to the numbers and the fun of what you're doing, right? And so, so super cool about that. And, uh, you know, I tell everybody, you know, we're, we're selling fun and yeah, experience and absolutely. that's, even though it's data driven, um, you know, to come back and review and relive your ride, Absolutely. you know, video wise with or with data and seeing where you've ridden and, and that's really what we're, yeah, we're showing. I, it's really cool. I mean, that's the whole reason Facebook did the, you know, social thing of where you've been and tagging pictures and all that because it just makes it fun. Right. So thanks to Garmin for all their innovation and what they do for the cycling community. They give back a ton. These guys are at all the events. They really support the riders and they're, they're hands on, which is what I really love. So. Thank you so much yeah. for taking time out today for our blog and uh, for the people out there watching. And uh, stay tuned for more videos for 2014 Interbike. And most of all, get out there, ride your bike, and have fun.